let the peace, love and blessings of Jehovah God and his Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The reign of love. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Romans chapter 8, verse 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. Golden text. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 to 13. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part. But then shall I know, even as also I am known, and now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Introductory Spiritual Chorus Take your glory, take your glory, I say, Father, Take your glory. Seek love. Quote, Beloved, 1995 is quite a different year, for love has assumed its duty in full swing. There is no point hiding issues again, for you are aware of the fact that we are debtors not to the flesh, the debt we are owing is to that love. Love is now reigning throughout the whole world and it has taken dominion. So if you are in lack of it, it therefore means that you have no share in this kingdom. The kingdom of God is nothing else but love. It gives no room for fighting, quarreling, for wisdom, for arrogance, for killing or stealing and other vices. You are a witness to the fact that in the world if you keep giving something to somebody for some time and later if you discontinue doing so, that would mark the end of the relationship. But here in the kingdom of God, love continues. And that is why the Father continues to pour it on us daily. I am telling you that through the year, through this year 1995, there is no other thing that is to be preached except love for it alone reigns in this kingdom. Vision has no place here. Prophecy, wisdom or degrees or whatsoever you can think of has no place here. The whole world has been waiting for love. This need for love confirms the message of Paul as quoted in the golden text, he said, When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, and then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abided faith. Oh. Charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity, brethren, the claim over wife, over brother, sister, kindred or whatever, does not matter in this fold. So, if you are in lack of love, it is better for you to start now to have it. If not, 
before the end of this year, you will regret it. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, Romans chapter 8, verse 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. Brethren, if you were to be knowledgeable enough, you could have realized that there has never been a day that evil is done here. This is so because love alone is the reigning factor. That is why when you indulge in this petty stealing and fighting, you experience diverse problems. Therefore, you should abandon all these things because they have no place in this kingdom. You should always be involved in love, for this is the promised kingdom which was prayed for by the disciples of Christ as embodied in the Lord's Prayer. Beloved, if you are to erect a building unto God, you are free. If you want to build a church, you are free. If you want to open a community or award people scholarship, you are free. You are free to perform love in whichever way you are given the ability. But this does not mean that Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is a prayer house or church. But it is an embodiment of love. So if you have no love, you better give way, for you have no place here. One of the one of the renditions of the children of God choir enumerates that money, academic knowledge, beauty, cunning, or whatever power is not needed here. But the only thing that is highly welcome here is love. It does not mean that you will not be here. But the fact is that you will not be known without love. It is in this year that you will see in its true perspective what brotherhood is. You are not a debtor to prostitution. To tell lies, murder, performing diabolical acts, combating one court case, or committing any other sin. Rather, you are a debtor to love. You see nothing else except love. So you should open your eyes wide. To see what will happen from this year 1995 to the year 1999. Even if you possess no eyes, you must see. If you have no love, you should be quiet and see love in display from now till eternity. I am grateful to inform you this, for love has never for once visited this plane, but it has now come down in a very big way, and all planes, both in heaven and on earth, are occupied by love. Hence, there exists no more space for sin to operate. Read the golden text again. Golden text. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 to 13. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part. But then shall I know 
even as also I am known and now abided faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Brethren, sometimes you claim that brotherhood of the cross and stars the church. You should keep your mouth shut because you do not know anything. If brotherhood of the cross and stars should be a church, then who is God? As I am imparting this message, the whole world and the people around here are being enlightened to the fact that Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is not a church, our prayer house, our service center, our place where sins prevail, but it is the kingdom of God. Beloved, love has engulfed the entire world, and whether you like it or not, you must embrace it. Just as our Lord Jesus Christ said, it is finished. The arrival of love has taken over all the evil thoughts and other minor factors. Hence, there is no more place for evil to dwell. A local adage has it that when a cow gives birth in the market square, there is no need for it to be told to close its legs. Today the truth is laid bare, so you should make proper use of your eyes. Without love, do what you may. It is for nought, for you will not be recognized as a child of God. The children of God are aware that the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of Jehovah God and his Christ. Love has taken dominion everywhere. That is why there is no more segregation, no more killing of animals, no more confusion, for we are now aware of the fact that we are from the same Father. That is why all glory is now ascribed unto the Father. The love of God has been in existence right from the beginning, and that is why he ignores all the sins committed by man. Now, this love has gone to the apex and will reign forever. Due to the emergence of love in the entire world, we are able to know that all glory, all reverence, all praises are to be rendered unto God. It also instill into us the knowledge of being one from one parent. In this kingdom, there is no need to claim any community any parenthood or anything, but we are all one under one umbrella. The honor which was said should be rendered to one's father and mother has now dawned on our knowledge that it is to be extended to all brethren, not only to your carnal parents. Brethren, a stroke of the cane is enough unto the wife. Let he who has ears to hear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.